Oh, I've always sort of, um, you know, I've got a carpentry background, so I've always sort of cleaned up a few bats for the boys and all that sort of stuff. And um, and then, yeah, probably about six years ago, I, I uh, thought about getting into it as a bit of a, a bit of a side job, and yeah, and it's just sort of grown from there. Yeah, I started playing cricket when I was about eight or nine um, at Mentone, and I've been there ever since. Just sort of started as sort of a little bit of a sort of fun thing, and it's always nice to bring, you know, especially bring older ones back to life, and you know, ones that guys might think are irreparable or whatever. They, you know, everyone's got a everyone's got a favourite bat that means something to them. You know, they might have made a hundred with it, and those sorts of memories sort of stick with you. So if you can, if you can, uh, if you can hang on to it for as long as possible, it uh, it means a lot. I didn't even realise that Vanuatu played cricket at that stage. We were over on holiday, came across a cricket net with a, a wild pig in there and at the same time the local club were bringing down their uh, synthetic on the shoulder and started training. The men's national team came out, they were over here in Melbourne playing a practice game. I noticed that their bats were in pretty average nick so I spoke to the coach then at the time and said that I'd take their bats and fix them up for them. Before. Yeah, glued them all up and put some new handles in and stuff like that and gave them back to them a couple of days later and it sort of just went from there. So I got a whole heap of Travis Head's bats in to clean up before the Boxing Day test a couple of years ago and so that was sort of, uh, that was sort of nice, you yeah. know. Like I trust my process pretty much but you don't want to go messing one of those up, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, listen, it means a lot. Like, it's, listen, especially with the Vanuatu guys, it's pretty difficult for them to afford cricket gear. So for them to be able to have you know, decent gear to work with, yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, it really does. I get a lot of guys come in and they don't recognise their bat and they go, oh, surely that's not mine. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you play in the, you know, fourths in your cart bat to save yourself, I'll, I'll still do the same job as I'll do for Travis Head or someone like that. As far as jobs go where you get a lot of satisfaction out of what you're able to do, it's, it's, yeah, it's right up there, definitely. Yeah.